there are people out there who want to change the way that you count. Uh, they want to change the world so that we stop counting using 10 symbols and start counting using 12 symbols. I love them. I think these guys are great. Let's talk about what we know so far. So the way we count is the decimal system. It uses 10 symbols. So let's, let's just write those out first of all. Zero, one, two, eight, nine. Once we get to this point, we start to have to make our numbers using combinations of the symbols we've already got. 12, 13, 14, 22, 23. Now, if we had been born with six fingers on each hand, then we would have 12 fingers. And maybe we would have started using something called the Dozenal system, where it's based on 12 symbols. And there are some people out there who think this is the system we should be using. They think we should have six fingers on each hand. They're, 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 they're disappointed we don't have six fingers on each hand because they think it's a much easier way to count. So first of all, if we're going to use 12 symbols, I need two extra. Let's have a look at what they suggest. For 10, we're going to have a symbol like this. That's called deck. And for 11, we're going to have a symbol like this, which is called L. So now it reads 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, deck L. This would be 12. In fact, they say DO. So this is DO, DO1. Do 2, do 3, do 4, do 5, do 6, do 7, do 8, do 9, do dec, and do l. So do l would be 12 and 11 more. So that's 23. And then you keep counting. 2 do is 24. So 2 do, 2 do 1, 2 do 3, 2 do 4, and so on. Just like decimal system, really, it's, this, it's the exact same idea. There's no difference between the dozenal system and the decimal system. That would be three do. This would be four do. And you keep going, you'd get nine do. Then you'd get dec do, l do. And then you'd get do do. Do do. Twelve twelves. Twelve twelves, that's 144. Twelve twelves, or gross. So if we write that out, 12 trails would be written like this. It's 144 or a gross or a grow. So that would be a grow. Something like this would be a mo. So if we take this year, right, it's 2012, which is a good year to pick since we were talking about 12. So if we took the year 2012, in the Dozenal system, it's written like this. That is mo grow. L8. That's the current year if you count in base 12. Now there is a reason why these guys want to count this way because they say it's going to make arithmetic much easier. I want to make this clear. For serious maths this system would not make any difference but for day-to-day -day life for your regular shopping these guys reckon that this 12 system would make life much easier because of the number of factors that 12 has. So 10 has, let's see, how many factors does it have? It has one, 10 has two, five, and 10 itself. But 12 has much more factors. It has one, it has two, it has three, it has four, it has six, and it has 12 itself. The reason this is useful is it will make calculations using thirds and quarters much easier than they are in decimal. Let's do something like a, a four times table. If we did that in decimal, it would look like this. Okay, it's four, and then two times four is eight, three times four is 12, four times four is 16, five times four is 20. If we did it with the dozenal system, then it would have four, then we would have eight, then we would have do, which is their word for 12, then we would have do four, do eight, two do, two do four, two do eight, three do, and so on. This pattern is a much easier pattern to teach children. Four eight zero, four eight zero, four eight zero. The, the patterns are much easier to see, uh, but the real strength of it is when you start dividing. If we wanted something like one third, 
you know in decimal that this is 0.3333R. It goes on forever, which is fairly ugly. But in the docimal system, it suddenly becomes really nice. If I want to write one third, so that'd be four out of dough. Four out of 12 is one third, four out of dough, which is equal to 0.4. A third written in this system is 0.4. It's not something that goes on forever. That's just a thing that decimal does. It's horrible. In docimal, it doesn't happen. Let's do something else. Let's do a quarter. A quarter of 12, a quarter of dough, is 3 out of dough, which would be 0.3. A half would be 6 out of dough, which is 0.6. If you want to do a sixth, that would be 2 out of dough, which is 0.2. Suddenly, all these become much simpler. You can see now why they, start, why they like it. Suddenly, all those horrible things that happen in decimal don't happen in dozenal. If we had been born with six fingers on each hand, and this is the system we have learnt, and then I came to you and said, no, I've got an idea. Let's not use base 12. Let's use base 10. You would laugh in my face. Why would you use base 10? It's not as good. Now, naturally, we actually count in 12s. In, historically, weights and measures were in 12s. So you would have feet and inches, 12 inches to a, to a foot. And currency was counted in 12s as well. Because it was natural. It made dividing by half, dividing by thirds, and dividing by quarters and sixths much more easy and much more practical. And that's, what, that's the system we had. Then in the French Revolution, the, the French got obsessed with um, decimalising everything. They wanted to make weights and measures easier to use, so they wanted to decimalise it, divide it into 100, because, because the, we used the decimal system. Now, they had a choice. They could have decimalised everything, or they could have changed the way we counted from 10 to 12. If they had done that, they could have kept all the weights and measures the same and all the calculations would have been as easy to do in dozenal as they are today in decimal. Now they chose to make things metric and keep the system. Maybe they made the wrong choice. In fact, in the French Revolution, they went so mad with decimalization that they had a decimal week, they had a decimal calendar and a decimal clock as well. Uh, they did that for a few years, didn't take off. What would pi be? Or would pi be the same? So if we talk about serious maths, something like pi, it would look a lot different. And it would involve these deck symbols and L symbols. And if, I, if we look at it, it'll, it looks weird and unusual. But if you were born with this system, it would be fine, it would be normal. There's no significant difference in the mathematics. The real difference this would make would be to just your regular life. And might make, uh, it might make arithmetic easier for children as well. But the one thing I guess people are going to say is when you are very small and learning about numbers, mm. your fingers and your hands are a really useful learning aid. You'd be taking that away from children right at the start. There are, well, to answer that, there are some cultures that still use base 12, and what they do is they count on the segments of your fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, deck L do. Just as easy to use. Right. How many how many arrows do you want? So the next one, let's say we did three to the power of, to the power of, to the power oh, arrow, 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 or whatever you want to call this. Uh, uh, three. Well that 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 is equivalent to three to the to the double to the double to the three 